Looks like a big lump to me. Are you kidding? There's a moat, a drawbridge, seven spires, and a guillotine for people who don't like my castle. What's that? Manhattan. Looks like a big lump. What are you talking about? I've got the Empire State Building over here and the Twin Towers and right in the middle of Central Park, complete with little trees, the lake, a zoo, and a mugger. What's with him? Oh, he's just saying that my castle's better than your dumb city. Just look at the throne room. There's no throne room. Oh, sure there is. Right through this window. Huh? Observe the golden chandeliers. Hey, careful. You almost crushed my peasant village. Uh -huh. Good Quit fidgeting. Looks like he's trying to... Oh, he's just being weird. <laughs> he does that all the time. One word, three syllables, first syllable, sounds like... Round. Cabbage. Bounce. I know castle. Ball. Sounds like ball. This one's easy. Old man, queeks pointing, can... Told you. No. Ball, can... No. Ball, keen, no. That's dumb. Ball, keen, no. Volcano. Cool. Go away, can't you see I'm busy? Nothing makes the blood course through the veins like nature clearing her throat. Oh, sounds like an aria to me. Music to my ears. Oh! It's been almost a year. You oh, my, we're being attacked. Someone has to save the island. Someone else. Wait, it's Mount Henry. Awake at last. Oh, gorgeous. Shut up! Shut up out there! What is it now? What's the racket? Wait a minute. Your Highness, we're talking volcano, dust, heat, people being entombed in tons of lava. We gotta get out of here. I'm too young to die. I haven't even seen a PG movie. We gotta get up there. What? You haven't lived till you've tried lava fried coconuts. Fried coconuts? Oh, goody! Fried coconuts! Are you coming? The closest I want to get to a volcano is a fourth grade science project. Stop whining. It's completely harmless. Oh, a weekend at the spa, mud bath, facial, body wrap. I don't care what anyone says. I'm worth it. Oh, did you bring the cucumbers? Here. Go mad. Ah, oh, this is living. Anyone for tea? Freshly baked scones and clotted cream? You devil, you. The fountain of youth better work. Pain in my legs, pain in my hips. I've got pain in parts of my body that don't even exist. Don't burn them like the last time. I hate it when they're burnt. <clears throat> Don't worry, this is a whole new mechanism. Extremely sensitive to heat fluctuations and pressure drops. Uh, Og, excuse me, but I, I... I told you, Coconut for Brains, our volcanoes are not like your volcanoes. Besides, I'm a royal princess, and I rule everything. 
even volcanoes. Ooh, I feel so much safer. I feel spoiled, downright spoiled. Oh, let's never leave. I feel like jelly. Touch me. Do I feel like jelly? <sighs> Tea is served. I feel like a boy again. I feel pretty. I can run. I can skip. I'm spray as a bunny. Hide and seek, Alfred. Catch me if you can. Tea. I wonder if he's cooked yet. If he burned those coconuts, he can just stay down there. Ah, what? What is it? Lancelot's not here. Oh, great. What am I going to sit on? It's a little more heat. I'm hungry! We might have a bigger problem than dinner. Temperature? Oh, yes, and it's heavenly. Hey, quit playing in the mud. Spot time's up, okay? But my wrinkles, my cellulite, my vinicose veins. Well, they're gone now, so run! Oh! Come on, there's no time to lose. I'm a little boy, I'm playing, I'm climbing a tree. Ah! I'm old, I can't run. Someone save me. What if someone sees me? Ah, uh, come on! They're beastly hot, like being in the Sahara, but without the chiggers. Curious. I seem to be surrounded by molten rock. Uh oh! Lancelot, save me! What on earth is that horrible noise? Sounds like a turtle in trouble. Sounds like a volcano erupting, if you ask me. This way. Whoops! Oh, no. No. Still warm, it's gone. No, I can't eat. The heat is frying my hair. Look at it, it's going all frizzy. This is the last time I interrupt my work for a volcano. What is he trying to say? What is it, boy? Little Timmy's caught in the well. I think Lou is stuck out there. And along with all the others. We've got to save him. Let's go.
robot, my hero. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What took you so long? <laughs> I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I'd say nature did rather more than clear her throat. <laughs> more like coughed us up and spit us out. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Thank you so very much indeed. Thanks. Makes you wonder about life's fragile nature. About a place where the animals are smarter than the people. <laughs> Mike coming. Hey, Mike, what do you think? About what? About Lancelot's new to die for outfit. Oh, nice. You didn't even look. Here, feel this. It's fresh silk. Real smooth. I'm busy. What's so important you don't have two minutes to look at my dazzling new creation? I'm setting up an ice maker for the island. What's ice? And more important, who cares? Notice the way the lavender picks up the pink in the tiara. Check it out, Mike. You could use a lesson in fashion. You could use a lesson in going away. It's real easy. All you have to do is start walking in any direction. Why don't you start walking off my island? Don't you ever do anything useful? Uh, yeah, all the time. Like what? You really want to know? Yeah. Like this. Now that I've got your attention, what do you think of Lancelot's new outfit? I, I, I think it's... What? What is that, some kind of big city insult? No, it would... Well, to you too. Come, Lancelot, I will not be insulted like this on my own island. Achoo! Don't worry about a thing, Mike. There hasn't been a cold on this island in over 300 years. But my great-great-great-great-grandmother left a scientific formula for a foolproof cure. She called it chicken soup. Lucky you, Mike. I've decided to overlook your shameless insults and will allow you the honor of playing with me. Uh, there, see? She did it again. You saw it too, right, Marjorie? It's just a sneeze, dear. An involuntary muscle spasm because she's sick. She just caught a common cold virus. We'll leave it to Mike to catch something common. What's a cold virus, anyway? A week of sneezing and dripping with fits of coughing and wheezing, watery eyes, a dry throat, soggy tissues, and a raw nose. It's a little like dying, but you live. Well, the royal personage is anything but common and will never succumb to such lowly ale. <laughs> What happened? It's simple. I sneeze, you breathe, you got it. So you just sneeze and other people get this cold? Well, more or less. Very interesting. This is it, Lance, my boy. The golden opportunity. This is how we get rid of the red-headed... <laughs> Girl, we turn her own virus against her. Feel that burn. <laughs> what in blazes? Who's there? Stay away from Mike. She'll turn you into a sneezing virus. She'll what? <laughs> Better stay away from Mike. She's catching a dusty virus. A what? Is that you? Sorry, I'll just get back in bed. Are you all right, dear? You sounded awful just now. What? What's this about freezing papyrus? Was this I hear about a platypus? No, Mike's got a virus. Begin phase two. Don't get too close. You'll catch Mike's horrible disease. Well, it's not as bad as all that. No. But it's pretty bad. Now get out, because if you don't, you'll probably catch the worst disease in the world. If there's catching to be done, I'm your man. <laughs> 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 
now it's just a matter of time. Oh, my accounting table's neatly stacked in alphabetical order. Six months' work completed. Perhaps Lou is right. I had no idea colds could be so damaging to the creative process. <laughs> I've never had a cold this bad. Must be some kind of mutant island cold. Oh, sir, blame the mutant on the islanders. But just who started this, anyway? I'm gonna go get Ugg. Maybe he can help. A very good idea, Mike. Do go. Yeah, do go. And please don't come back. Shh. I'm right in the middle of an antimatter particle generator assembly. Don't even breathe. I too. I'll have to put that one on hold. I need a cure for the uncommon cold. Hmm. Infectious disease of the upper respiratory tract. Sounds interesting. Where is everybody? It's time for my tea! <laughs> and what for the <laughs> unflammable racket? <laughs> what are you lazy lizards all doing in bed? I want my tea! It's all Mike's fault! Phew! <laughs> she should be sent back to wherever she came from before she unleashes some other dreadful plague. <laughs> Do you think she could cast a healing spell to rid us of this dreaded cold bug? I could. Yeah! No! Good. Mm, perhaps. No! no. I might. Yeah! Not. No! No! Well, yeah! won't. No! Ah, the power. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Daddy, when is the burden of this horrible play going to be lifted from your little princess? Don't you worry your pretty little head, dearest. Mike shall find a way to expunge this pestle. Of bike, 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 always bike. First she comes here, then she pays no attention to Lancelot's fashion statements, and now this. Where is she? What could be keeping her? She didn't look well. well she didn't have to contaminate us with all her weird mutant city-bred and curable diseases. Well, now, Lou, that seems a bit harsh. She is sick. I think she deserves our sympathy, not our scorn. Oh, you're right. When Mike gets back, I'll take care of her. How mature and gracious you become, my dear. But I can't help but wonder if we might be better off without her and her New York diseases. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think you've got a point. <laughs> Ah, feathers and the rail out of town, that's what I say. Send her back to where she came from. <gasps> Better hurry up. <laughs> Better hurry. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Oh, look now, but what? <laughs> Mike, my dear, there's something we'd like to talk about. It's fairly important. And it concerns you. Can't this wait? I'm not feeling that well. None of us are. That's the point. Precisely. What are you trying to say? It's time you went back from whence you came. Yes! <laughs> All right, big bad bacillus. <laughs> Anybody for cricket? Give me that! <laughs> okay, my clothes. Kiss your bacteria goodbye! Cure? What are you doing? Cure? 
join you? No! Don't worry, I won't send you the bill. Now, what was it that you wanted to tell me? That we're so happy you're here. I'm cured. Three cheers for Mike. Hip, Wait hip. a minute. Why is she getting all the credit? She cured us. Well, she wouldn't have had anything to cure if I hadn't spread the disease in the first place. Um, I mean, it, it was all her fault. I didn't do anything. Lancelot did it. It was all his fault. Where is that turtle? What? Hey! Get me out of here this instant! Your high princess commands you! Anyone up for a nice cool frosted glass of iced tea? Tea. Tea is delicious indeed. I don't tiny tea. One orchid. Oh, no, no, no. Four orchids. Three William and Mary Tulip. Oh, no, eight. I can do this. I can do this. All right, now. Five. Frangiopony Sapley. Oh, no, ten. And one clam. Ah! What? What on earth is a clam still wet from the ocean doing in my garden? Unless. Uh, it could only mean the island is sinking! The island is sinking! The island is sinking! Oh my goodness, the island is falling to pieces right under my feet! I must warn the others! The island is sinking! The island is sinking! Oh, woe to us all! The end is near! Abandon ye all! Oh. Dad, could you panic somewhere else? It's the end, Pumpy comes the end! What's got his boxers in a bunch? I assure you all that my apprehensions are not without reason. See? This island is sinking! Ah, my! There, there, dear. Stiff up a chin and all that. It's only salt water. Millions and millions of gallons of salt water. Oh, quite. Higgity, higgity, pop and oom. Put it all together, and what have you got? Our island is doomed. I'd almost forgotten about it, but every hundred years or so, something like this happens. The island is here, and then it sinks. Treading water! Ugh, this is crazy. Do something. <clears throat> May I direct your attention to the cave wall for a moment? I'm afraid that scientifically speaking, the island should not sink due to tectonic factors that can easily be explained in simple mathematical terms. See, the ratio of the anticlinorium weight versus true mass over the cosine of elemental structure times one-third of the relative B over the area of the isocline under the curve C to the tenth minus antediluvian thrust equals, well, lithospheric stability. Um, any questions? Okay, in English... What he's saying is, islands don't sink. It's not like they're floating, they're solid. Manhattan is an island, and it isn't sinking, except for sinking into total weirdness, but, but that's a different kind of sinking. But this island is not sinking. It can't. It's impossible. It can't be done. No, 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 nope, no way. The island is sinking. <laughs> oh, okay. Everybody! 
everybody just remain calm. Women and children first. Oh, forget the women and children. Save your governor. Me, me, please. Where are you guys going? Quick, to higher ground. To Queen's Cave. I must save my papers, my wonderful, wonderful papers. I'm not alone. I've got you, Og. Oh, buddy, old pal. Hurry, son. We don't have much time. But, Mom, my experiments. I'm close to breaking the barriers of unknown science by constructing the first perpetual motion machine. Bring it along, dear. With all this island sinking business, I brought a little of my artwork along, too. Forget it. Not in my cave. Go and find your own cave, what <laughs> Thanks ever so for inviting us all in. Now, is everyone here? One, two, three. Oh, keep still, please. One, two. Oh, please stop moving, people. Several. Two, three. Oh, bother. Lancelot, where are you? You need to unpack my suitcases. Ow! This cave hunting really has my blood up. Reminds me of chasing the rugged, woolly, subterranean Moodlewalks. Savage beast. Can we meet here? No. We can't let them see us talk. We'll upset the delicate balance of nature. It looks quite upset already. I've got you now, Wombat. All right. I quietly put forth that what Spinoza was really trying to say was... As I was saying... Prepare to meet thy pacemaker! Huh. <laughs> This is impossible. I bet Spinoza never had to work under these conditions. Six, seven, I've almost got it. Finally, I'm going to count everyone. <laughs> oh, uh, and I almost had it. One, two, three. I hope you're inventing something to make all these boobs go away. <sighs> No. What's that stick for? It's very delicate work. This linchpin will counterbalance the explosive nature of the device. Did you say explosive? Your goose is mine, Wombat. Um, oh, sorry. That's the lot. Over there. No, a little to the left. No, a, a little to the right. Left, I said left. Push it back to the right. Oh, get to work, Lancelot. Hello. Some people have no respect for royal property. My chair. What did you do with all the important belongings I had stacked on this chair? I threw it all away. It was just a bunch of dusty old masks and stuff. Uh, no. Now this is the last straw. <laughs> Now, this is the very last straw. I swore after the last time there was an elephant in my bed that I'd never stand for it again. This is absolutely, positively the very last straw. And to be perfectly clear, there are no more straws! I'm leaving! Some peace and quiet. I hate peace and quiet. Bunch of crazy island wet bags. Bunch of crazy island simple things. I mean, I don't even know what to do. Hiya, Queeks. I sure wish things were back the way they used to be. So do I. If only that dumb stick weren't keeping everybody so crazy. That stick doesn't mean diddly squat about the island sinking. It does it? Hey, wait a minute. Now I get it. Queeks, 
I've solved the problem. Do you think we should be so near this rising tide, O Doom? We do seem to be tempting fate. Gives me a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Forget all this sinking island nonsense. <gasps> Aren't we sinking? It's moving! No! It can't be. But I'm too young. I am in the prime of my life. Hold on to your sand abs, people. Look and learn. Ta-da! Oh, my goodness, it's just a clam. What a blessed rally. I'm alive. I feel like dancing. Saved by a clam. I've always liked clams. <laughs> Steamed or shocked? See? Uh, islands just don't sink. It's just that simple. Hey, uh, Queeks, what are you doing? Getting ready. For what? The island's going to sink, what, what? Like I said earlier, it drops like a stone every century or so. <laughs> you guys don't actually believe this mumbo-jumbo, do you? It's like I said, and I'll be more than happy to say it again, and again, and again. Islands, islands just don't... Say islands don't explode. Kidding. Ain't no cars, no phones, ain't no parking zones. Ain't no chaperones, ain't no leprechauns. Ain't no mortgage loans, ain't no hair salons. Ain't no skating phones, ain't no ice cream cones. Ain't no fecal phones, ain't no silicones. Ain't no parmesan, ain't no kidney stones. Ain't no microphones, ain't no slide trombones. 